Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another Fly With Me video. Today we're going to be flying from Shanghai in China to London Heathrow. I'm sorry if you can hear the shower dripping in the background. I couldn't quite switch it off and I'm just filming this intro in the bathroom because it's still dark and it's quite dark in the hotel room. So I thought we'd start the video in here with the dripping shower. <laughs> but um, today is very exciting because we're going to be flying business class, which is Club World with British Airways. So I thought I would just document a bit about what the flight's like. I'll just try and capture whatever I can while I'm on board. It's usually really noisy on the aircraft, so it'll probably be more of a montage style video, I think, just to give you kind of a little look at what it's like and yeah, what I get up to for the 11 hours that I'm on board. I am very excited. I've never flown in this cabin before on a long haul flight, so I'm actually really looking forward to it. It's really nice not sort of dreading the long journey home because hopefully, it should be very comfortable and really enjoyable. I downloaded some Netflix to watch if I don't fancy any of the onboard entertainment. I've got some bits of work to do, so I've got plenty of stuff to be getting on with on board. So yeah, I may not even sleep, but <laughs> we shall see. So the time is quarter to seven in the morning. I'm going to be leaving for the airport shortly, and then it's about, it says 13 hours actually, um, but usually it's a little bit less. Um, I hope it's a little bit less anyway, and I'm due to be arriving back in the UK at four o'clock this afternoon So I'm cheating time because I'm going back against it, which is always quite cool as well So yeah, before we get into this video, if you're new here, do click subscribe I post videos every week if you enjoy it Give it a little thumbs up and if you want to see some of the other videos that I've shot while I've been here in China I'll link those in the description box down below for you. Don't forget you can always catch me over on Instagram as well. I'm Mr. Carrington over there. Okay, let's get packed up and we'll get to the airport. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. Okay, I'm all packed up to head to the airport. I'll just show you what I'm wearing for the flight. I've got a new jacket from Zara and also this shirt that I picked up from Zara in the sale. I just filmed a haul actually, so I'll link that in the description box if you want to see what else I picked up. And also these trousers are from Zara too, nice and comfortable, and shoes are from Swims. When I worked with them earlier last year, not earlier, <laughs> when I worked with Swims last year, shoes are from Swims. Right, we better get out of here. security it took about an hour and a half in total which is quite long but we had lots of kit and things like that to check in so now I'm just having a little look around duty free see if there's anything that takes my fancy shouldn't really be getting anything but you know we'll have a look So I've made it to the lounge. I always get really overwhelmed in here because basically when there's free food or free drink, I get excited. <laughs> the time is 10 past nine, so I think it's only right that we kick things off with a glass of champagne and some noodles. And they've got Lauren Perrier. Cheers.
I've just boarded the aircraft. The time is 10.45 and we're due to take off in 10 minutes. And the sun's come out outside, it was really misty this morning, so I'm hoping that when we take off, we'll be able to get a little view over Shanghai out of the window. But so far, I am very excited to be sitting here. This is very spacious. Have a look at this space we've got here. Talk about leg room. And this folds down, so later on I can pop this down and this actually will all fold out to create a flat bed. And in this little space here we've got three windows, which is so cool. So we should be able to get a really good view outside. And then on this side we've got the TV and I'm guessing this is the fold out table. And then down here there's a little pull out drawer that had some water in it when I came in. And also this white company wash bag was on the seat when I boarded and then the headphones as well which looked like really nice ones and there's a pouch here to put some loose change in as well so I will be emptying out all of my leftover foreign currency put in there to donate to children's charities it's flying start and down here we've got a power socket we've got the safety guide and I've put my laptop and iPad into this drawer which shuts away I'll probably put my shoes in there in a bit as well and the safety briefing is just starting so I'm going to listen to that always listen to safety so we're just waiting to depart. I've just been handed the menu, so I think we'll have a little look at that now and see what the food options are. And I've just done an Instagram story because are you flying anywhere? I haven't posted to Instagram. Okay, so I'm looking at the starters. Straight away, scallops and prawns. That's me all over, I've decided. No competition. And for the mains, I'm thinking, yeah, I'll go for cod every time. And the desserts all sound delicious, but I am quite partial to a cheese board, so we'll see. <laughs> And there's coffee. Oh wow, they do specialty coffee. You have the option to order your food for an express service, so you can have it all delivered, so you can crack on with some rest or some work, if you feel the need, but I'm gonna take it leisurely and enjoy myself. And then later, it looks like there's a light meal option as well. So with the flight time being morning time here in Shanghai, then it will be served a meal, I guess it's like a big lunch and then a light meal before landing. We have the options of a smoked salmon tartare and a aubergine and tomato tin bale. No idea what that is. I'll probably go for the salmon because I just love the seafood and I may even go for the salmon as a main course as well. We've got maple salmon and a main course salad with warm, oh chicken actually. I might, oh and ravioli. I'm actually not sure what I'll go for. We'll see. We'll see what's left. I do recommend always packing snacks for a flight, no matter what cabin you're in. You just never know, maybe like the options are limited. I found that before where you want something and then the other option is something you just wouldn't eat. So always pack something, maybe some Pringles. <laughs> That's a classic that I love to pack. Or you can't beat a Toblerone to be honest. Um, you'll always find them at the airport. Or anything that you just like to eat um, in case you're hungry because you don't want to be hungry on board and it stops you from getting to sleep, so always have one or two items in your cabin bag. I recommend that. And then also if you want to sleep as well, you can bypass the meal. I'm not going to today because all the food sounds incredible. I'm going to fully enjoy it. But I do recommend it. Yeah, definitely if you get some
don't judge me, but I do always give the remote a little wipe down with an antibacterial wipe because these things apparently have more germs on them than a toilet seat. So if you haven't flown before, when you leave the toilet you need to pull this handle here and it folds back in. Sometimes you end up using this bit and thinking why can't I get out? So you do need to pull the middle part of the door to get out of the toilet. And this little tip, if it is the first time you use one of these toilets, you don't pull out your trap inside. And that's it. The flush in the toilet is very noisy on an airplane. Um, should we demonstrate that? I feel like we should. probably admit that you're not allowed to sit on the toilet if it flushes. Apparently it can suck your insides out if you do that, but <laughs> I think that's not a wives tale. There's seat wipes down here for hygiene. And at the top of the door there's actually a coat hook, which is handy if you do pop into the toilet to get changed, if you need to hang your wash bag somewhere. There is also a shaver charger as well, so if you do need to shave, you've got the option. If any of you are travelling with babies, there's a changing seat here, so pull it out like that.
comes with the footrest, so you have to be careful because I nearly trapped my legs in between the gap. So you do have to be careful because I nearly just trapped my legs in between the chair and the footrest and it was reclining, so good job the camera fell over, otherwise I might have sandwiched my car. But let's continue, so we're going back. Even if the sky is falling down, down. Even if the sky 